doing is that there is no accountability and that they're not having to show that it's worth it. They're they're just this front end enrollment of pumping that free money into these universities. And um, so we are going to answer one more phone call here. Um, Mike from Washington has been holding for quite a while. Uh, I wanted to hear what Mike from Washington has to say about this. Yeah, yes. Actually, Washington State. Hi there. Go ahead. Oh, hi. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm from I'm from Washington State. A lot of people, you, you tell them you're from Washington, they automatically go to D.C., you know. Uh, I'm actually from the state of Washington. Um, uh, I noticed you've been talking a lot about the debate. And I think a lot of Americans feel that um, it's just kind of hopeless to even vote. Uh, we're, we're, we're controlled on so many levels. We're controlled, um, you know, even down to the, the fluorine in the water or the, the pharmaceuticals that the, that the doctors are pushing or the GMO foods. I mean, I would love to see the list of how many different tools and things we are, are, are controlled by. Um, you know, I, I feel like we're influencing things in the Middle East or the old Ottoman Empire right now that has nothing to do with what um, our intentions are or what, what we need to focus on. I mean, I, it's I just like everything going to hell in America. No, that's and, you're absolutely right, Mike. I mean, there's so much that we should really be concerning ourselves with. We're actually seeing the forging of World War Three happening right now. Russia has... Uh, uh, position themselves there in Syria. Uh, we're getting all of these reports of 95,000 Russian troops. All these war games are going on. And and there is an assault on us here presently in our own country. And yet we're having to be concerned about what's racist or sexist. And it's just all a huge distraction. Um, I wanted to quickly throw to a report from John Baum where he gets into this forging of World War Three and What's really going on? So, guys, is that report ready? Go for it. According to Reuters, Russia has demanded Washington restart military-to-military -military cooperation to avert unintended incidents near Syria at a time when U.S. officials say Moscow is building up forces to protect President Bashar al-Assad's government. Of course, Assad is backed by Russia and openly blamed by the United States for attacks on his own people, attacks that just don't add up. This is a big issue that we're facing here, and Americans have seen the lies of WMDs in Iraq. They've seen the lies that brought us to Vietnam with the Gulf of Tonkin. Uh, we've seen so many of these staged events, so many of these false flags. Now, I want to be clear as well. I believe that there was some type of chemical attack. The numbers aren't clear. The media has tried to claim already, Alex Jones says nothing happened. No, something happened in the middle of a battle zone in the capital city, uh, Damascus, of Syria. And now Assad's come out and said today, why would I attack a bunch of civilians knowing that the West has said that that's their red line a year ago to the day, that they would come and bombard us and back up the rebels? Do I want to get arrested and killed? Do I want to be thrown out of power? Do I want to see every church uh, in Syria burned to the ground because the Al-Qaeda groups Obama is supporting have said that? And I talked to a lot of special forces people on and off air, uh, including today. And they said, yeah, none of this makes any sense. And the West is on record funding the rebels with even heavy weapons like tanks, heat-seeking missiles, you name it. So this is really incredible. BBC News admits they put out a fake photo from a real massacre Saddam had been involved in from 2003. But but they, they lied and, and said these were the thousands dead from a when it looks like max it was a hundred the obama administration claims to be fighting isis while plenty of evidence shows the obama administration has long supported isis now the hornet's nest is stirring in obama's inner circle the guardian reports barack obama's intelligence chief james clapper is said to be in frequent and unusual contact with a military intelligence officer at the center of a growing scandal over rosy portrayals of the war against the islamic state james clapper the director of national intelligence is said to talk nearly every day with the head of U.S. Central
Command's Intelligence Wing, Army Brigadier General Stephen Grove, which is highly unusual. All right, well, that forward. you can see the rest of that report at the Alex Jones YouTube channel. It's the forging of World War III. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm your host, Leanne McAdoo, hosting the Overdrive fourth hour. Very exciting to be here. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit more about this irrelevancy of higher education and to show you just what a racket it is. Now, this is a report coming out of Think Progress, how the government could make public college free for all students. We know that they do this in other countries, uh, but not here in our civilized U.S. of A. Now, they say tuition at public colleges came to $62.6 billion in 2012, and that's less than what the government spends to subsidize the cost of college. So they're subsidizing the cost of college via grants, tax breaks, and work study funds. They spent $69 billion subsidizing. So they could just basically use that money to make college free for all students. And in addition to that, the United States government spent another $107.4 billion on student loans. So they spent uh, spent more money helping people take out loans than they did. They could just make college free. I mean, that's more um, more than ha twice. I guess they could pay twice around, and people wouldn't have to worry about uh, going to school. We would have a lot of people getting higher education. They wouldn't have to worry about the cost. It could also incentivize private colleges uh, to reduce their costs in order to compete with the free option. So that's what a racket this is and the fact that there is a student loan crisis that we're all going to have to be dealing with here in the coming years it's ridiculous uh, this could be wiped away and of course student loans are one of those things that are almost impossible to get rid of uh, with the bankruptcy discharge possibly that could be something that could be changed in the future as well now uh, in the last few minutes here we can talk a little bit about the coming automation of jobs and we've talked about this a lot here at InfoWars. I've covered it a lot on the InfoWars Nightly News. Uh, but there are just certain jobs that are going to that are going to be replaced, uh, such as chefs, salespeople, and even models, if you can believe that. Um, about 35% of jobs, they say, are likely to be taken on by robots in the next 20 years. Now, when I spoke with some experts at an artificial intelligence conference, they kind of scoffed at that and said that it's going to be a lot sooner than that. Uh, but the researchers were also kind of calculating some advantages that humans have over machines. And so these are the certain traits that we want to be uh, really investing in. And these going back once again to that humanity. These traits include creative endeavors like writing, entrepreneurship, uh, and scientific discovery. Again, going to, back to that spark of divinity. I mean, we are all given a spark of divinity when we are born. We are God experiencing himself here on this planet or herself, <laughs> you know, God's divinity. Every one of us has that little spark and no one can do uh, what I can do or what you can do. So I think that this is kind of letting us know it's time for us to find out what is our passion? What is our calling? What is God calling us to, to all do to put forth into this world? The world is missing what it is that you have to offer because you're so busy being a robot, pushing buttons uh, for the machine, for your employer to, to keep this huge bureaucracy going. And they don't want you to wake up to that divinity. They want us all to stay sort of in this trance, uh, stay programmed to forget that we are sparks of the divine. So I'm uh, Leanne McAdoo hosting this InfoWars Overdrive Hour. Tune in to the InfoWars Nightly News tonight with Jakari Jackson. We're going to be talking about all of this and more, and I will catch you there.